So there's something kind of interesting happening at the moment. If you go into any of the supermarkets here in China, right now what you're going to see, at least for the past two or three days, and especially today, you're going to see people scrambling around trying to buy these sort of sweet dumpling, I don't know what to call it, like dough balls, you know? We call them, uh, wait for these inconsiderate people to get out the way. We call them Tang Yuan in Chinese, and Tang Yuan means, uh, I guess, sweet dumpling. It's basically these doughy sweet ball things. I'm going to try one a little later so I can tell you guys all about it. Now, unfortunately, I don't have my sunglasses with me, so I'm going to have to drink a beer instead, since I know that annoys some people out there. So you may have guessed that there is a special festival going on at the moment and it's called Yuan Shao Jie and what it is, is it's uh, the Lantern Festival. Now here in Shenzhen, unfortunately, downtown they banned all the lanterns because what people like to do is they like to write wishes on these big sort of Chinese lanterns, light them and they fly up into the sky and it's actually a, quite a spectacular sight to see. And I've really enjoyed checking that out in the past when I've lived outside of the city center. Unfortunately, you know, well, you know, Shenzhen is trying to be clean and they crack down on things they banned fireworks here and they've also banned things like lighting and flying those uh, lanterns I mean it makes sense those things do cause fires they just fly into the middle of nowhere land in a dry you know still on fire they land in like a dry forest or something and set it on fire but anyway I kind of miss it let's get on with it I think it's time that we go and try one of these sweet balls and I'm going to get Sasha to try and explain a little bit more about this festival since I'm going to be completely honest with you, I'm fairly ignorant about it because, well, I've never really looked into it. Okay, so I'm going to ask Sasha about this festival. Can you tell us a little bit about what Chinese people like to do during this time? I only know two stuff normally that we will do. Like one is eating the Tang Yuan. Uh, I don't know the English thing is that real, like they call sweet soup balls. <laughs> But sweet soup balls. Yeah, just really tastes quite sweet. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So why is it so important to eat these tang yuan? Um, because we think, you know, that sweet ball, it's a, you know, it's a circle, right? Can I say circle? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's a circle one, so the shape is circle. So it's mean yuan in Chinese Mandarin, so we call yuan. So, um... It's like a Tuan Yuan, so it's been together. Ah. So we like a whole family will be together forever, something like that. That yeah. makes total sense. Yeah, yeah. So you know, it's yeah. all about bringing bringing the family together, and yeah, so yeah, yeah. It makes yeah. total or sense. Or lover, I don't know any anything. Yeah. Okay. Um, and we will guess readers um, on the lanterns. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> and we will guess the readers lanterns. <laughs> <laughs> and we will guess the riddles from lanterns as well. Cool. So people write riddles on the lanterns, and then do they let the lanterns fly into the sky? No, no, no. no. They lot, they're not allowed to do this. this yeah, year. not not yeah. in Shenzhen. Yeah, uh, but not in the city for sure. Mm, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now something else I want to ask you, and for everybody out there, what did we order tonight? Because we didn't only just eat the tang yuan. By the way, that tang yuan that we ate had what did it have inside? Sesame. Yeah, it's like black Zima sesame. Jiang, yeah. yeah, sesame seeds basically. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was okay. It was a little bit chewy and it's not and doughy. It's not really my my thing, but uh, not my cup of tea. But what else did we order tonight? Double skim milk. Double skim milk. Yes, actually, that's quite quite nice. I have to ask you though, this is not a normal normal kind of Chinese food, right? Where does, ex where does this food come from? This is Guangdong traditional, um, actually from Shenda, so which is belong to Guangdong. Mm -hmm. So this is quite famous um, this dessert. Can I say dessert? Yeah, Sweet yeah. soup, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's a famous dessert um, in Shenda. Yeah. Okay, very cool. So we had the double skin milk. What else do we have? And the deep fire milk. Right, deep fried milk, which is, you know, to be honest, the double skin milk just tasted like custard, but I like it. I mean, it's 
It's actually very strange for China because Chinese people don't normally have milk, right? Well, we still drink, just like not, not that crazy like you do. Okay, I just want to say thank you very much for explaining to everybody out there what Chinese people like to eat during the Lantern Festival. Is there anything you would like to say to everybody out there on YouTube? Stay awesome. <laughs> cool. All right, guys, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and cheers. Um, lan Lantern. Lantern. And we will guess the radio. <laughs> right? <laughs>